If you build a homemade cigar box guitar, you are going to have to try to tame this beast to play your own music. There's no rules of how to play it, how to tune it, how, you know, how to string it, how many strings are on it. So now you're making your own music. There is certainly a camaraderie that's involved there that, that comes with the instruments and the music. These concerts are like a family reunion. Every day we get on to the Cigar Box Guitar Forum online. They're an odd bunch of characters, but they're about the nicest people that you'll run across. I don't write on that guitar. I wrote what I heard when I picked it up. The songs are already in there. You have to listen for them. You don't like put them in. All they want to do is pull this music out of this little wooden box. Songs Inside the Box, the Cigar Box Guitar Documentary. Welcome to the annual Cigar Box Guitar Extravaganza in Huntsville, Alabama. It's not a huge event, but it's a big deal to cigar box guitar enthusiasts from across the United States who come together here. A few people have heard of a cigar box guitar. Very few people have seen a cigar box guitar, and very, very few people have heard what a cigar box guitar sounds like. And so, you know, my expectations were sort of low, but, you know, it's just magical that you built something for cheap. I mean, you know, it's less than the cost of, of a CD, and it, and it sounded, you know, that good. So if you got the jug band spirit, primal music in your soul, it's in your head, you hear it, it's not on your radio. Cigar box guitar might be the way to go. Cigar box guitar might be your new mojo. I can sit down with a cigar box guitar uh, without having played one for a week or two. And invariably, the first two or three licks that I come up with become a song immediately. Because I can get sounds that I like out of it quicker and easier. Because it's a different sound, it's tuned differently. It's a whole different ball game. Kirk Withrow took up the hobby about a year ago. He's been building instruments, writing songs, and recording in his home studio ever since. Making new instruments, brought with it new songs. Each, almost each one of them had songs that I hadn't before played and really couldn't play without that instrument. While you're making one, inevitably, something else hits you. You say, well, what if I put a resonator in here? Well, you gotta put a resonator in the next one. When you do that, you'll decide, well, what if I put a magnetic pickup in here? And it just kinda takes over. Is the cigar box guitar an art or a craft? The cigar box guitar is a virus. <laughs> it's a sickness. You make one, you've got to make another. You've got to, you become obsessed with it, you start playing with it. It's a possession. Well, just a dusty hobby, many miles to go. Just a dusty hobby, all this travel of mills and woe. When you see one of these instruments, you kind of want to build one because you see that it is attainable. You don't have to go out and buy a $10,000 guitar. You can tinker with stuff in your own house and, and make one out of found objects on, on a weekend with your children and have something that's really inspirational. It's freedom. It, uh, I could never play anything before because I didn't have the patience to learn the way people wanted me to learn. Don't need no picture of Mohammed so that there's a God. But I got no emotions, girl, and you know, think that's odd. Slap me, mama. Let's see if I cry. Songs Inside the Box. The Cigar Box Guitar Documentary.